Good morning, everyone. It's Francis, your favorite amateur astronomer at 9.28 a.m. here in Cypress, Texas. Uh, what you're looking at right now are one, two, three, four, five images I've taken of Comet Ison on different days. Here on April 6th. Here on April 7th. Here on September 21st. Here on October 4th. And here on October 5th. But I want to correct myself real quickly. For, so for every file, because um, I know this one was taken on October 5th and this one was taken on October 6th, though the file name says the day before. Uh, this is 921. Uh, April 6th, April 7th, where it could be taken on April 8th, April 7th, and 9-22. What this is, uh, and we can check real quick, I can actually check, we'll go right here, and I'm going to, we'll look at the FITS header. So, on this picture right here, though the file says 4-7, we're going to look on 4-8. So, I believe this occurs because of UTC time. Uh, we are minus seven hours UTC time. So um, I believe there's a confusion in the file name and the actual day that the image was taken. So what you'll see here, uh, this bottom photo that says <clears throat> April 7th was taken April 8th. The coordinates are right here. Pause the video if you want those. And we're going to go through um, and do each one. File says April 6th. The image was actually taken on April 7th. There's the time, UTC time. Here are the coordinates for April 7th. File name with the date 921. Image taken 922. Coordinates. Now we'll move over to October 5th, though the file name says October 4th. It's over here. We'll bring it down. October 5th and here are the coordinates and the last one file name October 5th image taken October 6th October 6th at the time and there are the coordinates so um, you'll see um, the different views I've seen so far. Uh, I want to thank first, or not first, after the beginning of the video, I want to thank Suspicious Observers for his kind comments today. I'm hoping uh, that these images will uh, satisfy the viewers have, who have come over from Suspicious Observers video, the 4 Minute News, and wanted to see something. You look at my last two videos, we have uh, analyze, analyzation of the images I took October 5th and October 6th. These two images, moving pictures. Uh, here are the images from earlier in the year. This is very early. You can see that the uh, short tail, short fan type of tail, bright nucleus, bright nucleus. This, these two images were taken with a plane wave telescope, a more powerful telescope uh, seeing deeper into space than these images were taken by a Takahashi telescope for uh, mid-space and, and uh, uh, science platform uh, equipment. <clears throat> but back in April, you'll see we had a fan tail. We didn't really have an elongated tail. Kind of sh stopped short. And then as we got into September, we started getting a little elongation. Uh, it seems that here that the, the nucleus is a little bit dimmer. Um, but it could be because that the comet was hard to find uh, because the sun is coming up when we're looking for the comet. And here, 
the sun and the comet are more close together than uh, visually in the sky than these are these two right here and I'm just gonna I'll go through a little bit of these colors so that you can get a different look at it They're definitely interesting. I love looking at comet photos. Um, I love seeing uh, the differences that this comet is changing on its way in. I am still of the belief that the uh, nucleus is looking mm, looking nice. I can do uh, the black body over here. Or the rainbow, and that'll be this look down here. I have um, see this is this is from uh, October sixth, and today is October 9th. Um, looks pretty uh, clear to me. I'm I'm looking for a uh, center nucleus area, and I'm getting that. We'll have to wait and see, though, because it's all about in the observation. Um, so, about observing, when, when am I taking more pictures? I'm taking more pictures tomorrow morning and Friday morning. So we'll have two new sets of photos if the weather's good. I have already reserved the time and launched, created launch plans. So the way I'm operating the telescopes now is I create a program that I uh, set into the telescope, and the telescope runs the program when the time is right. I don't have to wake up in the morning anymore so um, here are the five different views from Francis Walsh of the comet April 7th April 8th September 22nd October 5th and October 6th these two images I ha you can move because they are separate days so let's see can we do that I don't know if I can do that for you. Here it is. So I think I've said everything um, about everything. I showed everyone the images that I've taken so far. Right now I'm just flipping through the moving images that I have. This is from um, April 7th and 8th, or April 5th and 6th. No, 7th and 8th. Count it together.
Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put them down. Last couple of times. This one was taken. Um, and it was just. I didn't get a good exposure because it was. It, it is, was in the wrong part of the sky at the wrong part of the day. <clears throat> or night or morning September 22nd and then these are the latest images October 5th and 6th this one is that it moves so far I'm going to try to do the moving images again here and here are the matching stars here October 5th and October 6th. Okay, I hope you all have a great day. It's now 9.42 a.m. here in Cypress, Texas. This was and is Francis Walsh, your favorite amateur astronomer. Thanks to Suspicious Observers. Hello, Jess. Hello, John. Hello, Chuck. Hello, Doris. Hello, Alan. Elaine. Hello, uh, Lori. You all know who you are. Parsec. Jersey Dolphins. All my friends who are coming back to YouTube to see the videos that I'm producing of Comet Ison. 